Hello and welcome to the Malthus Bird. In today's episode, we are going to skyfish. Yes, you definitely heard that right. We are going to skyfish. And what this skyfishing idea goes out on is basically that we need a white sheet and then we need a light source. And preferably something that gives off UV rays, which then attracts moths and the different insects to this sheet so we can take a look at it. And one of the ways you could get this light, light source is either by buying an actual light bulb and something that gives off, as I said earlier, UV rays, or you could just buy your own moth trap, which costs, I mean, more money, but like, it's probably the easiest, simple solution that you could do. So in today's episode, we are going to moth trap though. Now we have managed to plug in the moth trap now the only thing that's left is to put these egg cartons inside the moth trap so once the moths come to the trap they have something to hide in. oh whoa, whoa, whoa. there we have it a beetle and another moth actually All right. yeah we'll show more of these species later and um and the question is or your question is probably why would you even attract insects to your yard they're nasty and yada 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 well, actually, the moths and the insects you see at night are so completely different from the insects you see during the day. And a lot of the moths that you, I mean, you think moths are insects that eat your clothes. But the fact is, a lot, like, I mean, I would say, like, 90% of all moth species don't even eat clothes. And they do all other things than eating clothes. Secondly, the moth species you encounter during night are so pretty and some of them i mean they're hidden hidden gems literally so it's definitely worth doing and something you could do just in your spare time it would be really fun i really recommend it but back to this moth trap all right so now we have managed to put in these egg cartons inside of the trap and here uh, here's a small beetle show you guys beetles as of right now are pretty common in the area that i live in all right guys now the only thing that's left is to wait and see what comes in the trap i'll see you guys tomorrow morning all right bye all right guys it's right now six o'clock in the morning we're now check to see what's in the trap wow guys <clears throat> Look at all these insects. Aren't they cool? Oh, we have a praying mantis. Look at that, guys. Beautiful specimen. And we have some small moths in there. Let's take a closer look. We have our first geometer moth. And then we have a checkered fruit tree tortrix moth. Here is a sphinx moth that we found in the same area. This is called a pawpaw sphinx. And here we got a Clemens grass tube worm moth. And here we have a clicking beetle. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys staying until the very end. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe.